I will assume you've read the passage. The tone of this passage suggests that the rise of agribusiness makes the author of this passage most likely feel which of the following. Um, so how the author feels um, is really uh, towards the end of the passage. It, it says, um, you know, since, since the, um, the, the third paragraph is really where the author kind of summarizes the argument that the business aspects of operating a large farm have proven beneficial. Um, but um, many buyers fear that the personal service and an individual attention that they receive from owners of small farms will soon be lost. So there's an upside and a downside. So does the tone suggest which? That the, is the author angry that large farms are destroying the traditional family farm structure? No, there's no anger here. Uh, enthusiastic about the future of agribusiness? Again, this whole idea is that there, is, uh, there are pluses and minuses to agribusiness. Uh, C, accepting of agribusiness, but willing to acknowledge its consequences for small farms. This actually sounds exactly like it, like the third paragraph, where there's all sorts of good things about being able to bargain more effectively and have uh, corporate partnerships, but that some things are lost. So this is tempting. Uh, D, sad that small farms are not as productive as they used to be. And actually, that's not even clear that they're not as productive as they used to be. If anything, they're probably more productive, just not as productive as the large-scale farms. So definitely not that. E, hopeful that small farms will become more business-minded. Again, there's nothing about them being business-minded. It's more just about their size. So choice C, accepting of agribusiness, but willing to acknowledge its consequences.